Welcome and thanks for joining the Let's Talk Digital Marketing Podcast. Join host Mike Sharp of Mike'sOnlineAcademy.com as he shares valuable insights and advice, helping you to become digitally inspired. That's here on the Let's Talk Digital Marketing Podcast. Yeah, thank you, Uzair, for joining me. I really appreciate thank you, Mike. it. And uh, I know you're a busy guy as well, so you know I'm not going to waste this time um, with you. Uh, so uh, you are a, you run SF Digital. That's right. You're a Google partner, YouTube certified specialist, um, yeah. blogger for SEMrush, for and social media. Uh, what is it? Social media. Social well, media, well, and I've been featured on Digital Marketeer, right. and a few other portals. Yes, and you worked, uh, well, your business is 20 years old, isn't it? That's right, year, yeah. Which is, a yeah, Big for anyone to run a business for 20 years yeah. is amazing anyway. Yeah, we've been doing something right. And to be in digital for 20 years, because 2002 obviously the, the landscape was different in 2000. That's right. Yeah. So when we started the business, there was no Google, hardly any internet. Internet was just coming up. If you remember the days of the dial-ups. Yeah. And <laughs> yes. Yahoo and all those, um, Alta Vista and all that. We were traditional photographers, corporate social photography. And then our business evolved, kept on evolving as the internet grew. So after a little while, the video came on a camera. Then the video came or the camera and the video came on a mobile phone. So we knew the trend was heading towards photo video. So with my background as a photographer, it helped me immensely with the video bit as well. And one day one of our clients mentioned, well, you're doing our photos and our videos. Why don't you do our website? Because on a website, if you think about it, the two biggest things are good photos and good video. If you have these two done nicely, your website yeah. is going to look really nice. If they are amateurish and not done properly, no matter how great the design or the product or the services, it's not going to give that, that, that branding. So we, we knew that this is where we can leverage our expertise. And we started doing website and web design. And when you do websites, then you need traffic to it. And that's where in 2010, when the Lehman Brothers uh, debacle happened and the recession started all our traditional marketing i.e. local newspapers, events, magazines, newspapers were getting more and more expensive. Mm. And I looked at Google ads and I remember I used to get like one penny, one cent, uh, one penny clicks. Wow. Wow. Without knowing much about it. And we'll get traffic to the site and we'll get phone calls, more phone calls than emails in those days. And we would generate leads. And then I knew that this is where it is heading and then we did a, a full uh, pivot literally from photography to Google ads. But that is still coming in handy because when we do videos, we need to create headshots and product shots and things like that. So yeah. our past experience of photography comes in real handy and has got a big ad advantage for us than other agencies and competitors. Yes. Because was there much competition when you started? And were there many other agencies doing Google ads or websites? There weren't that many, but you know, as as something new comes up, the competition grows. So in those days, um, I was getting so much word of um, mouth referrals that we didn't need to advertise. But now we do advertise quite a bit, as you know. Mm. We create content as well a lot every day we upload uh, videos on youtube every weekday i should say uh, we've been doing this for the last four years so our video marketing is 
yeah, very aggressive and one of the best. Yeah. And how many videos have you released uh, to date so far? I think on our channel, it's about over 1300 or something like that. Wow. Wow. <laughs> That's incredible. <laughs> and because I've, I've heard you mention that because originally you did like networking with yeah. other businesses, you know, going for yeah. breakfast, etc. Yeah, breakfast, lunch <laughs> and you know, evening meetings, which I'm sure you've done and you still do okay. that. Yeah, yeah. Four years ago, I made a decision because it's the same faces from the breakfast to the lunch to the evening meetings. Because you're locally, right? It's a, it's a circuit. You'll go from one to the other to the next and so on. And you'll see the same faces. Now, no, and I'm not, you know, implying any disrespect to anybody, but they were not my target audience. I knew that. Yeah. If I see Mike in the morning, afternoon, lunch, and Mike is not my target audience, then I'm kind of like wasting my time, you know, keep on networking with the same crowd. I yeah. needed a bigger pool of people because you'll only get 20 people in a room. I was thinking 200 and 2000 at a time and video allows you to do that. Yes. You upload a video and then it just keeps getting those views and views and views. And yeah. then it multiplies the more you put up. So your messages and your messaging is amplified 100x. So then I said, I'm not going to go to any breakfast meetings or any kind of networking meetings. I completely stopped. It was no, even if it's a local one, you will need to spend about four hours because you'll be two hours at the meeting, one hour getting ready, driving, and then one hour, you know, coming back and get, uh, getting back to your office and so on. Four hours you would spend roughly. I used that time to create videos. So it used to be very, I won't say painful, but it was very slow because I was new to it. I yeah. would shoot, I would edit, I would transcribe, I would blog, I would upload, I would syndicate to all these places, Facebook, LinkedIn, Pinterest, 30 other blog uh, sites. But then as I kept doing it, I got faster and faster and then got one person to help me, then another. So now we've got a team of five or six on our content marketing team. So I shoot the videos, give it to my team, and then they do the rest. I yeah. don't need to get involved with the day-to-day. -day. So I'm you pass it on to? Our team, uh, yeah. Yeah, your team, which makes yeah, it because they, you, Yeah, you can't do everything yourself. You will have, you will need to get help sooner or later. Yes. Because your your style is different, I find, to other YouTubers who are very, in what way? very. I hope in a good way. <laughs> no, no, in a good way, um, because they're they're very in your face, and they're um, you know very uh, American type of videos. Where yours seem more British or more res yeah, reserved. Yeah, because we are very conservative. We are not <laughs> brash and. I mean, no disrespect to our American friends, but they are very aggressive in their marketing and they, they are not shy of it. They are not shy of blowing their own trumpet, which is great. Yeah. Because oh, yeah. if you're not going to do it yourself, nobody's going to do it for you. Yes. yes. But over here, we are very conservative. People don't like it. <laughs> or why is he bragging? Whereas over there, people go, oh, wow. Or he must be good. Or he's done so many things. Yes. So, yeah, it's just different. Well, you have fans in the USA who are big yeah. uh, Google Ads uh, YouTubers. Yeah. Um, like um, Solutions 8, for example. Um, yeah, Carson and John, they are my very good friends. Yeah, yeah. And uh, oh, they're fantastic. They're fantastic. And I know they're fans of yours. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we have very mutual respect. In fact, Kasim was my coach, at, still is, coach at Digital Marketeer. That's how our friendship grew. Ah, I see. And then yeah. um, I said, oh, look, you've got, to, you've got so much knowledge, you've got to start. And I say this to, I've got knows how many people, 
hundreds and thousands of people have told this look go start get started with video marketing it's so easy to get ranked on youtube and google why wouldn't you do it it's a no-brainer with all respect to them they're uploading like it's a production factory every day every without day. fail they will upload and yeah. their content is one of the best as well yes so, yeah why yeah, do you think people don't do it why do you think there's because if you can, I suppose you can do it. Um, okay, so Kasim can do it. The the more the most the, the biggest excuse is oh we are too busy, or yeah. we don't need that. But you you need you need to have some kind of marketing going on every day. What are you doing today to generate more leads or sales or to put your name out there? If you stop going to network marketing, I'm not uh, saying you know, that they don't work. They do work wonderfully for those who do this regularly. If they do it properly, they follow up and so on, right? Because even with network, uh, uh, the business meetings, is the, 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 the key is the follow-up, right? Yes. One-to-ones and follow-ups and so on. If you don't do that, you're not going to get any work. The same with digital marketing. You have to keep on consistently putting them up so that wherever your audiences go at every touch point, you follow them, either organically or as a remarketing ad. So they are aware of who you are, what you do. Because you may not need me right now, Mike. After three months, you may need me. So the first name which should come in your head is, ah, I need to go to Uzair. Yes. He knows Google Ads, he knows YouTube and so on. Yeah. So the conversion has to happen over here in the in the mind, not on the on the device or the computer. That's what I work at. I'm playing the long-term game. Don't play the short-term game. That oh, I start a campaign today. From tomorrow, I want to be profitable. I need to generate leads and sales. It doesn't happen anymore. It used to happen seven, eight, ten years ago when you just put up, which I did you know, without knowing anything and what are keywords and match types and all that. Didn't have a clue what I was doing, but we were generating leads because there was hardly any <laughs> other photographers doing that. But now, as you know, every niche, every industry has got tremendous competition. And when there is competition, you need to be different. Mm. You've got to do things differently and not just be like a lemming and follow the pack. Yes. So I'm doing video marketing. You are in this game, uh, Mike. You tell me how many other marketeers upload videos or video content regularly. You can pretty much count on one hand. Oh, easily. You yeah. mentioned Kasim. And then after that, you will struggle. Yes. Yes. Okay. It's a rare, rare breed. Yeah. So it's good for me and people like Kasim that none of them are doing it because we are going to be so far away and ahead of the pack when they do wake up and start first, they won't be able to catch us up. And secondly, we'll move on to the next shiny object because there's something <laughs> bigger and better around the corner, right? Something yes. new is going to come up. How, how do you deal with, because they're doing it every day. Do you sometimes think I don't want to do it today? No, you, this is the biggest mistake you will make is to shoot every day. No, you batch, batch video. Ah, you, I see. One, right. one day, you block your calendar or your diary off. That's it. It's non-negotiable, right? Yeah, yeah. Saturday morning or whenever, Friday afternoon, whichever, you batch record 10 videos or five videos. So you've done it for the whole week or the whole, next two weeks. Right. If you try and do it every day, it's never going to happen because you're going to do it with all good intentions today, tomorrow, day after, then you'll get pulled over somewhere else. Oh, I'll do it tomorrow and tomorrow and tomorrow. And then that's it. You yes. stop. That's it's crazy. like going to the gym. It's like going to the gym. You've got to be consistent. Yes. Yes. Because I was thinking how you would do it every day because you every can't. day pressures and yeah. every day, some days you might not feel great and you might not put in yeah. a good performance. Yeah, exactly. So you batch, batch record them, easiest way. Yes. And the other good thing now is because of TikTok, the 60 second videos are so popular, it's unbelievable. Yes, yes. So to knock 10 videos out, it's, it's not a problem. 
because you do uh, YouTube shorts as yeah. well, don't you? Yeah. And you're on TikTok, aren't you on TikTok? Yeah. yeah. Well, I don't do those funny dances <laughs> and make myself look stupid, but no, we just repurpose part of that video and make it into a vertical format and uh, upload it. Yeah, but the engagement is uh, very high on TikTok. It's good, yeah. I mean, for us, uh, YouTube is number one and LinkedIn is number two. Wow, okay. Yeah, because I saw you're a, a LinkedIn uh, professional, so you, I guess yeah. you use LinkedIn for yeah. a lot. Yeah. Do you, do you um, what do you think of the ad platform? Have you ever tried? We have used it, yeah, when we use it, especially when we need to target certain uh, niches, like a dentist or a plumber or any kind of um, companies who are a certain size. Yes, we do run campaigns on LinkedIn as well. Beauty with LinkedIn now is uh, Bing ads. It used to be called now is Microsoft. Microsoft took over Bing. Microsoft took over LinkedIn. And now you can target the LinkedIn audience through Bing, uh, Microsoft ads, ah, which is a very okay. powerful way of running ads as well. I didn't know that. It's mm. interesting. So you got the power of Bing with LinkedIn. Yeah. yeah, now they call Microsoft Ads, yeah. Microsoft Ads, yes. Yeah, that's right, yeah. Uh, just just uh, on that, how with uh, Microsoft Ads, um, I've seen a really good ROAS from uh, yeah. Microsoft Ads. Okay. Is that yeah. something you've seen? Because I've... We don't run a lot. We mostly focus on Google and YouTube. Yeah. Yeah, for our clients. But the, yeah, the, yeah, I've seen um, good numbers anyway from... Yeah, so from those who are running, they do get good results. The only problem is if it's a localized business, then the volume will be very low. You need to go yeah. nationally. Then it's worth your while because even if my, uh, Microsoft has only like 7 or 8% of the market share compared to Google um, or Facebook, you, you still, that number is still significant and at a, a, a lot less cost per click. Yes, yes. And and now with Google, it's becoming more uh, automated and yeah. the machine is yeah. taking Making over it. a lot of the functions that um, yeah. marketers did before. Yeah. Uh, even in uh, manual campaigns, there's a lot of automation now, isn't there? Yes, yes. Um, what are your thoughts on that? Do you think it's a good thing or is it is it one something we should just learn to use and go with the flow well slowly slowly the keywords are being taken away from google so the uh broad modifier broad match modifier is no more yeah. exact match hasn't been exact for a long long time phrase match is not phrase match now they will show your ads for you know close variants as well so yes. we, the trend is that moving away from the keywords and towards the audience based uh, advertising and marketing is who we are as a person google knows our surfing and searching history they know that what i'm searching for looking for we don't need keywords so that's that's where the game is heading and i believe in a couple of years time it will pretty much all be uh, audience based rather than keywords yes and the so? results we get on youtube and google display network are amazing wow yes yeah. yes because now you've got a performance max which is one yes what, um one, campaign one campaign. covering yeah, all uh, of the, yeah yeah all it goes assets. against everything we have learned that keep search campaigns display campaign video campaigns separate because they are different metrics and all of a sudden they put everything in one and it works pretty well. Yeah, yeah. Do you think some marketers are stuck in the past when it comes to like, just thinking of keywords then? Do you think there's a... Let them be. That be. <laughs> Good for me and <laughs> to you. your advantage. <laughs> Good for our advantage. Yeah. Good for us, yeah. <laughs> uh, now, uh, your, your business partner, your your wife, Fazana. Yeah. yeah. Um, she, I think she 
you've said in the past she's a big influence on the business because she's yeah. a I've seen her talk and she's a very um motivated yeah. marketer um and she yeah. was uh the mayor of Leighton Buzzard yeah still is I still is mm -hmm. so do we have to call her madam madam madam, madam mayor, mayor yes <laughs> <laughs> do you have to call her that <laughs> of course <laughs> Um, what is uh, is her role in the business then? Is, yeah. is that the organisation side? Uh, so, she influenced how you, like, when you course. decided to make more absolutely. videos, was that, did she influence uh, that? Absolutely. Um, she, without her, we wouldn't be here. She is a big influence on, on myself and on the business as well. Uh, she doesn't get the credit which she ought to get because she, she, doesn't come on the video or the vid um, in front of people as much as I do. So people don't see her so much, but a lot of work is done by her managing the team, managing everything when I'm away for weeks on end. So just recently I was away for five weeks to the US and UAE. So somebody has to uh, look after the work as well as the kids as well. So yeah, without without her, it would be impossible. So it's, and and we work great as a team. It's not easy to be, you know, partners in life as well as partners in business. It's not everybody's cup of tea. No, no. Because you're working 24, you're pretty much together 24 seven, right? You're in the office and then at home. Yes. Yes. And very few people can do that. So fortunately for us, yeah, it works very well for us. So that's our strength. Yes. And she does she plan the strategies going forward for the business? Or is Absolutely. It, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Absolutely. We bounce ideas off each other, have our meetings. And like every couple, we will have our disagreements. And like every husband, I will just say, yes, dear, in the end. Yes. <laughs> Very sensible. <laughs> of course. <laughs> what do you, uh, the future of marketing, particularly Google Ads, um, how do you see it panning out? Do you see more automation pretty much what? in the future? Yeah. Will, they, will they phase out manual? campaigns yeah. yeah i mean just like look um before we used to drive manual cars then we drive auto automatic cars and now we are getting self-driving cars now would you want to go back to the manual car no you wouldn't mm. right yes yeah because if the self-driving cars you know being made by Tesla and Apple and all these companies now coming out. Okay, they're in version one or 1.0, but imagine the first Apple phone. We were blown away by, oh my God, what this is. Yes. And if we look back at it now and we look, what the hell was that? Yeah, yeah. It has evolved and these cars are going to evolve and our Google ads, the automation is going to get better and better. It's like a Terminator. It's not going to leave you alone. It's going yes. to go after you until you take out your credit card <laughs> and hand it over. Yes, that's a good, that's a good um, analogy. It yeah. is because you see with manual uh, campaigns, all we are looking at is the cost per click and a couple of other metrics. The algo and the machine is looking at millions of data points. Mm. Does Mike buy expensive item does Uzair wait for the half price sale to uh, come on or looking for the bargain basement items and so on they know how we behave how we serve how we shop and then at the right place at the right time they are going to show somebody's ad to you and you'll go oh this is exactly what i was looking for and that's mm -hmm. when the conversion happens with manually you can't do that because you're only looking at a couple of other data points and that's it. Yes. So it's yes. a lot more powerful and you use it properly. And the other problem, Mike, I see a lot 
the blame game is on Google and Facebook or any other platform. Oh, they're a scam. They don't work. It's too expensive. They've taken up my, they've, uh, they've taken my cash and so on. But what about your product, your offer, your service, your pricing, your mm -hmm. landing page experience? There's so much more. So yes. what, what's going to happen now is we will focus more on the back end and not on the ad interface. We're sitting there tweaking and, you know, messing around with the campaigns every two minutes if it is not working properly. If you have less controls and you know that, okay, I get highly engaged audiences. All I need to do is to take them one step further to my conversion action then you are going to focus more on optimizing your website, landing page, shopping cart, and so on. Yes. Very few people do that. They, all the thing, all the blame is on Google. Oh, it doesn't work. Yes, it's convenient. Yeah, it is Google convenient because Facebook. nobody wants to accept that there's a problem at their end. And it's easy to, you know, uh, blame Google or Facebook. Yeah. Yes, that's a good point. Uh, how about, um, obviously, in the Facebook world, uh, the iOS 14 updates have yeah. had some effect uh, on yeah. um, on how Facebook operates. Google's not been so that, badly affected, but it's. I think it's coming up, isn't it, along the line, that they will have a similar... Yes. Yeah, I think it's... Similar thing next july or something like that and android are going to have their own opt-out of yeah. tracking on their phones yeah do you foresee that might cause a bit of a bump and then they'll... it will it will have we'll have to readjust but facebook and google are not going to lose mil billions and billions of dollars because of privacy issues there will be some workaround. They will have something which will protect the privacy as well. Yes. But it will also help marketers to carry on, marketers and advertisers, to carry on what they are doing. It, it just cannot come to a standstill or a stop. Oh, well, yes. we can't run ads now. It's never going to happen. Yeah. So yeah. I'm not too worried about that as to what's going to happen we'll cross the bridge when we reach there yeah yeah and as you say you know google ads i mean they they outperform most of the forms of advertising anyway yeah, it's just so high intent bottom of the funnel yeah yeah the biggest advertising platform in the world yeah yeah right i've got some uh, before we end off um but I've got some quick fire questions for you. Okay. Uh, but nothing too, nothing too uh, terrible or embarrassing. Uh, <laughs> uh, the first question is, what would you say is your favorite food? Favorite food? Oh, God. When you go, I, when I'm you not take a, away, a sea eater, favorite? but I, I like my seafood. Ah, okay. Such so as... Fish. Okay, fish and chips. Uh, fish and chips, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> cool, cool. Yeah, I, I must admit, I'm the same. Uh, well, where you are, you get the best fish and chips. Oh yeah, yeah. We got the lovely, lovely catches. Yeah. On from the uh, the fishermen here. Mm. Uh, when you when you're relaxing, what is your favourite type of music that you listen to? I'm not a big music fan, to be honest with you, but I do from time to time recently, I, well, not recently, a couple of years, I've been listening to audiobooks. Ah, okay. So fiction or non-fiction? Um, yeah, mostly non-fiction, but um, also with, you know, other marketeers or marketing gurus, advertisers or entrepreneurs who have released their books those kind mm. you find that helpful to listen to those guys yeah. and yeah because if i'm traveling yeah traveling or walking 
walking. We all walked to the office. So I just put my headphones on and 15 minutes each way. I listened to it. So that's half an hour every day. Yes. Uh, read the book. Yeah. Uh, great. Any, any recommendations for, for audio? Yes, uh, or... I would. Yeah, there's one. I'm just going to open up. Which is really, really good. I would highly recommend that. Uh, one is Ready Aim Fire, amazing book. Ready Aim Fire. Ready, uh, ready, sorry, ready fire, um, fire and aim. Yeah. Ah, see, yeah. And then there is one more, which is Rocket Fuel, which is also very good. Who are they by? So Rocket Fuel is by. Why can't I see the name? Gino Wickman, G I N O W I C K M A N. Mm. And the other one was, doesn't give the name here for some reason. It's like a white, um, it's like, I'll show you. It's like that's the, can you see it? Oh, yeah, yeah. I've heard yes, the like, expression ready fire aim. Yeah, it's, it's one of the very best. And I've, I think, listened to it almost three times now. I just keep listening to it over and over wow. again. Wow. I'll, I'll look out for it. Yeah. Um, and following on from that, do you have a favorite quote that kind of. Yes. My dad used to tell me, and it, it is the harder I work, the luckier I get. Wow. Yeah. That's a good one. That's a good one. And it's certainly true. You've, you're a living example of that. Yeah, you work hard, you work honestly. Uh, you respect people and respect others the way you would like to be respected. You'll yes. get the results. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Don't try to get shortcuts. So, you know, when people say on the social media and the internet, or make millions in 90 days and 30 days and so on. There's no overnight success. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Um, and I, I can't not mention cricket. Of course. As well, because you're a big Yeah, I would fan. be highly offended if you don't. <laughs> <laughs> um, obviously, uh, your team is Pakistan. Because I mean, you, were you born in Pakistan or were you uh, yeah. like second generation? Yeah, I was born there in Karachi. I came to England when I was 16. Wow. wow. I've been here 35 years. Wow. Wow. So regarding cricket, um, who would be your second team? England. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Absolutely. Good, good answer. But then, but then the, 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 yeah, but then you should have asked me, who's your team when England play Pakistan? Yeah, who's your team when uh, England play Pakistan? <laughs> so whoever bats i support them oh okay okay the diplomatic answer <laughs> and you have a favorite all-time player hmm. for sure there's only one uh, imran khan yes yes who's our the pakistan uh prime minister at the moment yeah he's yeah. a legend isn't he yeah. he's a legend wow wow not as a cricketer but as a person as well what he has achieved in life is unbelievable and if you follow him, he's done, he's done, achieved something, uh, things against all odds. Yes. And that's what you get the inspiration of never giving up. Yeah, it's not the easiest that. job to be um, prime minister of. Yeah. Um, I mean, prime minister is one thing. I mean, people used to laugh at him when he said, oh, I'm going to enter politics. But before that, he also built a cancer hospital in Pakistan which oh. offers free treatment to the poor. Wow, wow. Because his mom died. Yeah, his mom died due to cancer and there were no cancer hospitals. So he made up his mind, I'm going to build one up. And everybody was laughing at him. Oh, wow. governments can't make a hospital. Who is he going? He's a cricketer. How is he going to make build a hospital? And he, has, he built it. And to this day, I think it's one of the biggest hospitals in Asia and offers completely free treatment to the poor for cancer. Wow. wow. That should be more widely known. 
Yeah. I, I had no idea. Yeah. I guess it's good news, isn't it? And good news doesn't get broadcast, unfortunately. Yeah, it's always the bad news. Yeah. <laughs> yes, yes. And you have a uh, course at the moment, don't you? Google Ads like a boss. Yeah. Which you're promoting. Yeah. Is that the best way to be introduced to your into your ecosphere? Into yeah, I mean, if you see any of my YouTube videos or you visit my website or anywhere you come across me, there will be a follow-up of other videos and content where you will eventually end up on my landing page. That's how the funnels are made. I don't want you to know of me today and expect you to buy from me tomorrow. Yes. I yes. want you to be 100% happy. Wow, this guy is the very best in what he does. I need to speak to him. Yes. About my problem. So we offer two kinds of services. One is done for you services. As an agency, we can run your campaigns. Yes. And then the other way is for um, small business owners who can't afford agencies, in in-house marketing teams, uh, freelancers who want to up their game in Google Ads, I coach them. So we have a coaching program where we have two calls, coaching calls a week, along with uh, numerous uh, video tutorials in the portal. So when somebody joins, you ask them, okay, this is where you are right now, where you want to be in six weeks time. We make a game plan and then we check off all the things, how to progress and then help you along the way because you can't learn everything in six weeks. That is just the beginning. And then within the year, uh, every uh, week we have two calls. You come in on the calls, go through your problems, sh share your um, campaigns on screen. And I go through the optimization with everybody in a classroom environment, small groups. And that's yes. how you keep taking your expertise to that next level yes uh, yeah and you know your your content is a great introduction to uh someone who then yeah i want to uh being having like one-to-one uh, -one training with you or using your done for done for you services yeah exactly so what and you've seen me put up content especially on linkedin quite a bit we upload regularly so the way you want to promote yourself, and this is the best tip I can give anyone, is think about value in advance. Give value up front. Mm. Lots and lots of value. That they get blown away. Wow, this guy is giving me so much value for free. What if I pay him? What am I going to get? Yes, yes. That's how you want to be. Let's yeah, do it. there's so many people feel like they can't, you know, they feel like they should be paid for a little bit yeah. of value. Yeah, straight away. Yeah, yeah. And this is where whenever we take on new clients, we have to manage their expectations. And we tell them if they've got no data in their Google ads and they're just starting out, you need to be patient for 90 days. You got to test, you got to throw a lot of things on the wall to see what works and what doesn't. And you be ready and prepared to lose money up front, which you are comfortable losing. And I'm not saying give everything, including the shirt off your back to Google or Facebook. You will need, you will lose money up front. Your leads or sales will be at an expensive price but eventually it's going to come down. Because Mike, if it was so easy where you run, start a campaign today and from tomorrow you start making 10X ROAS, everybody would be a millionaire. <laughs> yes, right? that's right. It doesn't work like this anymore. And the second thing is, and the good news for those who are in this long term and, and for the long while, it's not a hundred meters dash, it's a marathon. Yes. And you, most people give up in 30 days or within 20, 21 days. Oh, it's a, it doesn't work. I run out of money, blah, blah, blah. Because they weren't, they, their expectations were way too much. 
they see other people, oh, I've got this, I've got that, and I made so much money. So I'll give you a little quote I recently got on, somebody put up a message on my Facebook. I had put up that I'm traveling to the US and he goes, oh, it's a great life. I said, yes, I have, but you don't see the long hours and the sacrifices which we do behind. All you see is what you see online. Yeah, that so is very, of, very, yeah. very, very true, isn't it? Yeah. Very, very yeah. true. Yeah. It's, so when I work weekends and in the evenings and so on, last night I was working here till midnight. <laughs> wow, wow. Right? Because of my the American clients in California, excuse me, because of the time difference. Yeah, yeah. People won't see that. Yeah, that is so true. That is so true. And I really appreciate you uh, joining me as well. Um, no, thank you so much for yes. uh, for inviting me. Because uh, you probably, you're quite a humble guy, but I think you're one of the rock stars of YouTube. Um, I appreciate it. Yes. Thank you. And uh, anyone listening, if you haven't subscribed to the YouTube channel, do so immediately. And uh, check out uh, Uzair's website, which I'll put in the description for the podcast and the YouTube video as well. Cool. So thank you, sir.